South Africa's first nuclear summit provided an opportunity for government and other stakeholders to engage over the potential of energy as the country chases decarbonization targets. We need to exploit nuclear. It's established. We know that is green. We know that is efficient. And we know that is reliable. Uh, so that uh, other uh, countries on the continent uh, can uh, uh, benefit from this uh, technology advances. And also the honest conversation is around <coughs> the upfront capital costs. South Africa has been home to the only nuclear plant in Africa for the last 40 years. It has plans to add more nuclear to its power mix as most of its electricity generating coal fleet ages. We cannot emphasize renewable energy, we need it, but it needs a backup. You need to back it up with stable electricity, what you call dispatchable or what you call baseload electricity. So nuclear is a good substitute. It works 24 hours as compared to coal, as compared to hydro. If there were to be a nuclear build, you are talking about massive jobs in the construction design, construction phase, both in all areas of engineering, either civil, mechanical, you'll need plumbers, you'll need <laughs> welders, you know, you'll need a massive skills. Right up to after the construction, you've got an operation of the nuclear power plants. That is also, have got various jobs that are created there. Nuclear is, however, not just about creating a power stable supply. It is also useful in the industrial, agricultural and medical fields. We generate isotopes that we extract and we sell for industrial uses globally. And our biggest customer is the USA, followed by the European community um, and then the Asian community. The African community continues to grow in the sense that uh, because we don't have as many nuclear medicine facilities, um, that market is slow in growth. The main aim of the summit was to explore opportunities that could lead to the development of a nuclear industry and contribute to economic growth. South Africa is also hoping that constructive engagement could demystify safety concerns around nuclear energy. Julie Shara, CGTN, South Africa.